What's going on you guys? My name's Ty Knotts and welcome to Top 5 Unknowns, 5 Scary Things Found by Private Investigators. Number 5 Tawny Lee Sharpless was a 29-year-old woman from Pennsylvania who decided to go to a nightclub with a friend of hers named Crystal Johns back in 2009. At this time, Tawny was known to have been taking medication for bipolar disorder and wasn't supposed to have been drinking any amount of alcohol. However, she disregarded her doctor's orders and drank anyway. Tawny and Crystal then headed to a party a short distance down the road. This party was said to have been hosted by a former 76ers basketball player. Tawny remained at this party until she fell into an argument with a guest and decided to leave. However, Crystal refused to let her do so, insisting that she was far too drunk to drive. Though Tawny refused to listen and drove anyway, with Crystal in the car with her. The two drove a few blocks before getting into an argument, at which time Tawny pulled over and forced Crystal out of the car. Tawny then drove away and was never seen again. Police then searched for Tawny's car in the following days but found no signs of her, no signs of the car or any sort of crash. However, a private investigator that had been hired to handle Tawny's case received an anonymous letter, stating that Tawny had passed away during an altercation with a police officer in New Jersey, and that her disappearance was being covered up by the police force. The writer of this letter was claimed to have paid $5,000 in order to dispose of Tawny's car, and even provided the correct VIN number for her vehicle. To even further add fuel to the story, it was noted that just two weeks after her disappearance, a license plate reader in New Jersey registered a license plate matching Tawny's. The story mentioned in the letter has never been confirmed, and its author has never been found, though neither has Tawny, which really makes you wonder if this unknown writer was genuinely telling the truth. Number 4 Back in the early 90s, Tom Grant was a private detective hired by Courtney Love to investigate her husband Kurt Cobain after he'd fled from a drug rehab just two days prior. During Grant's investigation, he discovered that Kurt planned on divorcing Courtney, leading Grant to believe that Courtney may have been involved in his death and hired someone to murder him, rather than the publicly accepted fact that he took his own life. Grant then spoke with Kurt's private attorney, who confessed that Kurt did plan on divorcing Courtney. In fact, just days before his death, he had his living will revise to exclude Courtney from receiving any sort of financial compensation should he pass away. Grant has spoken publicly about these claims and has appeared in a number of documentaries where he alleged that Courtney was involved in his death. He states that Courtney became aware of the impending divorce in early April and hired a hitman to take Kurt out. In doing this, Kurt's will would essentially become void as the two of them would have still been married when he passed away. This would allow her to claim the majority of his funds after his death and continue on with his millions. Whether this story is true or not, we'll leave that for you to decide, but Tom Grant seems to be quite certain of his claims. Number 3 Karen Silkwood was a lab technician at a nuclear plant. She became aware that the plant was suffering from quality control issues and was soon elected as the leader of the company's union committee and was given the task of testifying before the AEC about poor working conditions. However, on her way to the meeting, Karen's car had swerved off the road and crashed into a wall, with Karen dying upon impact. Her documents and evidence were never recovered from the crash site. Police then ran a toxicology report on Karen and determined that her cause of death was related to sedatives and alcohol. However, a private investigator found a series of strange dents located on the back of Karen's car, suggesting she may have actually been bumped off the road rather than becoming intoxicated and swerving off the road. An autopsy revealed that Karen had been exposed to lethal levels of plutonium. When searching her house, police then found traces of the chemical in her bathroom, kitchen, and even a sandwich in her fridge. The lawyers at the plutonium company insisted that she'd lost her mind and begun poisoning herself. And sadly, these allegations couldn't be confirmed or denied, so Karen's case remains unsolved. Number 2 Seth Rich was an employee for the Democratic National Convention back during the 2016 election cycle. On July 10th, 2016, Seth was found to have been shot in the back twice, passing away moments later. 
The official story was that Seth was the victim of a robbery gone wrong. However, word soon began to spread that Seth may have actually been involved in a series of leaked documents that shed light on conspiracies that had been taking place within the Democratic Party. A private investigator soon became involved in the case and confirmed these allegations, stating that there was irrefutable evidence indicating that Seth had been involved in leaking information about the DNC and Democratic Party. Police who were handling the case allegedly became extremely aggressive toward the PI and insisted that he lay the case to rest, though he refused to do so. While Seth's death is still legally regarded as a robbery gone wrong, many are left to wonder even today whether or not Seth may have truly been involved in the WikiLeaks scandal of 2016. Number 1 Clara Harris and her husband David were both dentists from the Houston area. The two had three children together and lived a comfortable lifestyle. That is, until her husband began to have an affair with his receptionist. Clara found out about this and did everything she could to turn their marriage around. She left her job, got in shape, and worked on her physical appearance and even scheduled to have her breasts enlarged, though all of this was to no avail. Eventually, Clara hired a private investigator to track her husband and the receptionist. The investigator followed the two to a hotel, which Clara and David had actually had their honeymoon at. Naturally, Clara became infuriated and headed into the hotel with her stepdaughter. She then entered the hotel and began to attack the receptionist, forcing the two to be removed by security. Once outside, Clara ran back to her car and proceeded to run over her husband four times. Though little did Clara know that her private investigator was filming the entire event. He turned the footage over to police with Clara being sentenced to 20 years in prison. She was incarcerated in 2002 and released on parole in November of 2017. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to click that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to keep updated with our videos.